Welcome to yet another video on my YouTube channel, Mr. B does electronics. So home automation, we have all heard it, we have all seen it and now it's our turn to learn how to do it on the cheap. So in this project, I'll be using uh, ESP8266, a very cheap two module relay board, which has two relays onto it. You can also use the four one, the four relay one and preferably a power socket of 5 volt uh, that of a phone charger to power the project so sit back relax and enjoy the video and i'll promise you that at the end of the video you will be up and running with your own home automation project okay so we have shifted over to the overhead cam and just let me show you about the connections so this is the relay that I'm using. This is a dual relay or the two relay module. You can also use the four relay module. Uh, but if you use the four relay module, then you won't be able to use one of them because the uh, free account of the Cenric Pro uh, supports only up to three devices. So this is the two relay module. And I have just soldered on the connections, the four connections that you require for this device to work. Let's go through that. So first is the ground connection as you can see from the left hand side then is IN1, IN2 and VCC. So VCC and ground as you already know is the 5 volt and the ground connection respectively and IN1 and IN2 goes to the digital pins of the ESP8266. In my case that is D1 and D2 as uh, given in the programming you can change it according to your need and this is how it is connected to the ESP8266 board this is just a generic ESP8266 off of Amazon so as you can see as I already told the IN1 device is in the D1 port and the IN2 device is in the D2 port by these two wires and this is the V in or the 5 volts that is coming from the USB port and this is the ground connection this black wire the whole connection to this this is a complete setup in itself. All you have to do is put it in a case and then give uh, the inputs and the output to the specific devices as well as the power supply that you want to control uh, with the help of your Google Assistant as you can see over here I have or Amazon Alexa. So let me just uh, demo it for you and I'll be powering it with the help of this power bank. You can use any type of uh, mobile charger, 5 volt converter, anything as you'll be running it off of mainly to 20 volts power supply. So here I'm using the micro USB cable to power the ESP8266 and I'll be plugging it directly into this power bank over here. So as you can see the ESP8266 is on by this blue LED you can tell that. And this is the relay board. Let's focus on the relay board for a second. I'll just give the Google uh, home the command and it will just uh, turn on the LED over here or okay Google turn on device sure turning the device on okay uh, it was device 2 so this is the one that is DS2 as you as you already heard the click that is the relay connected to D2 is now on that is it is closed this connection is closed which was open uh, beforehand so that means the device that you'll be connecting to these ports over here which is connected to the second relay over here will now turn on and let me just give you an overview of the whole setup okay Google turn off device okay turning off and the it device was that quick as you already saw so that is the whole setup that I have been running for I think it's been 6 months and it is going without any hiccup. I am controlling my uh, tube light that is the light in the drawing room or the applicability is endless. Whatever you connect to these ports will either turn on and off with the help of your Google Assistant or your Alexa. You can also control it with the help of the Sendrick Pro app uh, both on iOS as well as on the Android. And uh, next I'll be showing you how I have set it up in my own uh, drawing room, how it is been within a case and how I have connected it as far as, as I can because it has already been stuck to the switchboard and then we will dive into the coding as well as I'll show you how to register for the Sendrick Pro account and how you can register your devices individually 
and lastly we will go for the google assistant integration in our google home app so as you can see this is how it looks and this is how i have stuck it to our existing switchboard connection so all it is doing is running as a switch parallel to that of the physical on off switch and at the back as you can see those are the connections which are going from this box inside the switchboard and they are connected parallelly to the existing switch as i already told earlier okay google turn off the tube light got it turning off the tube light okay google turn on the tube light got it turning on the tube light so previously it was the google home that was turning on and off the tube light and now i am just controlling it with the help of a traditional switch which is present on every switchboard okay google theater mode in the google home app you can also use custom routines like this so now let's start with the coding part this is the code that you have to upload to the esp8266 to do your own smart home so here we don't have to go into much details we have to go through only five things that we have to change for each and every use case i'll be going through them one by one so first is the name of the wi-fi ssid or the network name that you'll be connecting to next comes the passcode of that wi-fi network uh, next is the app key that will be generated automatically once you create an account in Sendrick Pro and then is the app secret and lastly there is the device ID so these three will be automatically generated whenever you create an account in Sendrick Pro and then you add uh, one device as soon as you add the device these three data uh, will be given to you and next time highlighting the pins or uh, the digital pins where you will connect the relay or the devices basically that is D1 and D2 in my case. So next we have to create the Sendrick Pro account and for that we come to the Sendrick Pro website as you can see over here in Sendrick.pro and then we click on sign up. We start filling in our details, uh, the username, the email, password, language, region, etc. And after giving the necessary information, we click on register and then a confirmation mail will be sent to the corresponding mail that you have provided. After confirming it, you will be able to log in with your credentials that you used to create the account. As soon as you log in, you will be presented with this dashboard wherein it will be a blank slate at first. Then we click on the devices button in the menu and here we have to add the devices and clicking on the plus devices button will give us this new device window wherein you can provide the device name, a little description about the device and other informations. Uh, let it be as default, all the options, uh, you can change the room name and after giving all those informations uh, you have to click on next and here you have a lot of different options which you can explore on your own and lastly we click on the save button and we will be represented with a new device in our device window and this is a very important step this is where you will be copying these three uh, credentials which are specific to your particular device into the code uh, wherein I have already explained earlier here I have opened the code and the browser in a side-by-side -side window wherein I have just copied one of the credential that is the device ID and just pasted it into the uh, code and this is how you have to change each and every uh, credential uh, into the respective places as I'm showing right now and then all you have to do is upload this modified code along with the details of your uh, Wi-Fi uh, network that is the password and the name and upload it to the ESP8266 and turn it on 
and now as you can see in the devices menu uh, your added device is being shown along with its current status status if it is offline or online if it is on or off uh, you can monitor it using this website the Synric Pro app so next we come into the Google home app and click on get started or add device either of the cases and then we click on works with Google the second option and in the search bar up top we have to search Synric as soon as you type it in you will get it in the suggestion as you can see the last option Synric Pro you click on it and it will be redirected to the Synric Pro uh, login page where you log in with your credential that you have used to create the account previously we click on sign in and it will automatically integrate into the Google Home app along with the device that you have added in the account uh, in the desktop in the previous step that is and right there. The light is the device that we have added in the earlier step and it is being shown here as offline because I have not actually uploaded it to any ESP8266 that was just a test account. Uh, as soon as you upload it and turn the ESP on it will be online. Uh, so one thing I want to address uh, at the end of the video is that I have showcased uh, that uh, we'll, I am using a Google Home or an Alexa, I don't have that. But uh, to build this project and to use this, we technically don't need the Google Home. We only need the Google Assistant which is present in all of your devices if you are using iOS device like me. You can install the Google Home app and just control it with the help of your smartphone. But to get the flavor of the true hands-free experience, I recommend one of these devices. These are running very cheap nowadays. You can also get them used. It's up to you. And with that note, I want to end this video. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. Uh, we are steadily growing and all thanks to you people, your support. Uh, I know I have been gone for a long time, but I was busy uh, doing other things uh, in and around the house. So now I have returned and I will just keep up making all of these videos because all my projects are piling up and I want to uh, showcase them to all of you so that all of you can learn and enjoy and also in part I can also learn something. So comment your ideas below and I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you.